In this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate this series right here. So the sum from 1 to n of 1 over r plus 2 times r plus 3. So the first step we want to do is use partial fractions. So we want to express this fraction as two separate fractions. So we're going to let 1 over r plus 2 times r plus 3 equal a over r plus 2 plus b over r plus 3. And values of a and b are what we're trying to find out. So now I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator here of this fraction. So we're going to get 1 equals a times r plus 3 plus b times r plus 2. So now we need to input values of r to evaluate this. So if we take r equals minus 3, this bracket right here is going to equal 0. So we're going to be left with 1 equals minus 3 plus 2, that's minus 1. So 1 equals minus b, which means that b equals minus 1. And now if we input r equals minus 2, this bracket right here is going to cancel. So we're going to be left with 1 equals minus 2 plus 3, which is just 1. So 1 times a, which means that a equals 1. So now we can substitute this back into the series. And this is going to give us sigma r equals 1 to n of 1 over r plus 2 minus 1 over r plus 3. And now we're going to use a method of differences. So we're going to look at some terms and see a pattern. So if we input r equals 1, this is going to give us 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. And r equals 2, this is going to give us 1 over 4 minus 1 over 5. When r equals 3, we'll get 1 over 5 minus 1 over 6. And I'll just do the nth term. So when r equals n, we get 1 over n plus 2 minus 1 over n plus 3. So you can see that some of these terms are going to cancel out. So the quarters cancel out, the fifths cancel out, and this pattern is going to go on for the whole series. So all the middle terms are going to cancel out like this. So we're left with a third here at the start and the minus 1 over n plus 3 right at the end. So this is quite cool because this is what this series is going to equal. So this equals 1 over 3 minus 1 over n plus 3. So we can simplify this bit here. If you multiply this fraction by n plus 3 top and bottom, we get n plus 3 over 3 times n plus 3, and if we multiply this fraction here by 3 top and bottom, we'll get 3 over 3 times n plus 3. And now both of these fractions have got the same denominator, so we can just add them, which means this is going to equal, well the 3's cancel out, so we're just left with n over 3 times n plus 3. So there you go, the sum of this series.